Hello my wonderful and amiable listeners. Welcome to another interesting news. The news at line. With the kind of evidence coming out in court, it's obvious that Ashwa Jubala Metunubu should be worried, Paul Uwadima said. With the kind of evidence coming out in court, it is obvious that Ashwa Jubala Metunubu should be worried, Paul Uwadima said. The news in full details. It is already known that Ashwa Jubala Metunubu's opponent wants to file a lawsuit to have his victory in the presidential election on the 25th of February annulled. Paulo Adema, a political pundit and author of novels, has given reasons why Ashwa Jubala Metunubu should be concerned about some of the accusations leveled against him. In a YouTube video, Uadema alleged that Ashwa Jubala Metunubu's opponent have asserted that the, that the certificate he provided to the Independence National Electoral Commission, INEC, included inconsistencies. The Supreme Court, according to him, nullified the election of a governor-elect for the Bayesa state as a result of inconsistencies in the, in the supporting evidence that was given to the Independent National Electoral Commission. In his words, it is obvious that Ashwaju Bola Ahmed Tunumbu ought to be worried as well. With the type of information that is surfacing in court, the Supreme Court will finally reach a decision on this matter. The All Progressive Congress APC nominee for Governor of Bayesa State has, has his election ruled unlawful by the Supreme Court in 2019, which led to the People's Democratic Party assuming power in the state. This is due to the fact that the certificate given by the NYSC and other organizations included errors according to the evidence that was produced in court. Ashwajibola Metunubu is currently being pursued in court for the same type of certificate contradiction. The issues in the 2023 Nigerian presidential election are economic, human, and political issues that were discussed prior to and during the general campaign period from the end of the primary period in June 2020 and the final day of campaigning in February 2023. In the wake of party primary, several major factors for the upcoming general election campaign were noted, namely ethnical and religious identity, the religious of Buhari, the role of Buhari and its incumbency power, the economy, corruption, the personal brands of candidates, and public anger with the political status quo. Ahead of the official campaign period, major candidates were to release their policies document. Atiku Papaka did so in late May, but Peter Obi mm-hmm. and Ashwajibola Medjinobu did not unveil their policy document until after the campaign period commenced in September 2022, with Ashwajibola Medjinobu releasing his manifesto in mid-October and Peter Gregory Obi releasing his manifesto in early December. As the campaign developed, other issues like climate change and sports development rose to prominence. However, civil society reports from January 2023 claimed that the majority of campaigning was based on policy issues as personality politics, identity politics, and negative campaigning overtook policy discussion. Nigeria lost hundreds of billions of United States dollars from corruption since independence and its corruption perpetual index scores has worsened since 2016. However, after the primaries, analysts noted that unlikelihood of corruption becoming a massive electoral issue as both Atiku Abubakar and Ashwajibola Metunubu have credible long-standing major corruption against them. The years ahead of the election were extremely difficult for the national economy as several deliberating recession and high inflation greatly decelerated economic growth and increasing unemployment. Coupled with the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic and the 2022 Russian invasion of Ukraine, food prices have skyrocketed and millions of people are projected to fall into poverty if current trends hold. As the campaign period began, analysts noted that the three major candidates had broke, broke with Mohamed Buhari on economic issues 
and more business friendly rhetoric, rhetoric and support to further devolu devolution of certain resources control to the state. Analysts of economic plans noted a joint focus on agricultural growth to drive economic improvements back, but a several lack of detailed blueprint from the manifesto of Ashwajibola Metunubu and Atiku Abubaka. The years ahead of elections were marked by a deteriorating security situation nationwide, while further advances in the fight against terrorism in Northeast led to thousands of refugees being able to return to their communities. The situation in the rest of the nation became increasingly dire. The social position of women, people with disabilities, and other marginalized groups took a prominent position in in policy debates before the election. In his manifesto, Peter Gregory will be promised to to equitably distribute of appointment to men, women, youth, and people living with disabilities as part of his pledge to leverage national national diversity and give overlooked groups as unfettered voice in governance. Similarly, Ashwa Jubala Metunobu promised to, to back legislation mandating 35% participation for women in all governmental positions in his manifesto. However, a similar vow has been made by Mamadou Bouhari in his previous campaigns. The Ashwa Jubala Metunobu campaign also stated that its proposed social welfare programs would give priority access to persons with disabilities, women and young people. Despite their promises, Abdullahi Aliyu Yusman, the president of the Joint National Association of Persons with Disabilities, claimed the electoral campaign had continuously overlooked the groups and avoided detailing specific policy aimed to benefit people with, the, with disabilities in their manifesto. The 2023 Nigerian election, which produced President Ashiwa Jubala Metunubu as the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. It was Paul Uwadema also said Ashwa Jubala Metunubu should be worried by the kind of documents and evidence coming out in court. He said that Ashwa Jubala Metunubu opponents have asserted that the certificates he provided to the INEC included inconsistencies. He said it is obvious that Ashwa Jubala Metunubu ought to be worried as well with the type of information that is surfacing in court. The Supreme Court might finally reach, will finally reach a decision on this matter. That will be all for now. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button. And let us know your thoughts and your opinion via the comment section below. And I will see you on the next news. Bye for now.